Butler has gone gay. They target black people being mad. We want our money. We want our money. Your name's Donald Trump? No, 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 no. We should call you Donald Duck. Burger. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Burger Hour Podcast. I am the one and only Dad's Burgers, joined by Thomas Christopher Salisbury Jr., the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and the seventh. I'm a triplet. I think I said four. Never, never. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Today, we're talking about Jimmy Butler has gone gay. <laughs> it's not gay. <laughs> it's evil. Gay? What did he gay? <laughs> It's Evo. Yeah. I assume he's gay. He's evil. Go ahead. Oh, my God. Next topic. You can never do the back and forth. I'm just gay. What are you calling my man gay, though? So the, what is it you got going We on? also go talk about this video that went viral. And white people, they showcase how white people don't understand black people. Like, at all. They don't at all. And I know that because of this next topic that we have. He's trying. He's trying. I don't have what? <laughs> what was the topic, bro? Jimmy Butler and the House mm-hmm. Speaker. Oh, Kevin McCarthy. Kevin McCarthy. So, this yeah, so what happened, with, what happened with Kevin McCarthy, Did bro? you get, like, an article or something? Like, so, why? Kevin McCarthy was removed. Okay. That's all you know? Bro, it's Shade Room. They don't got, like, no Shea information? Room? Like, does Shade Room have articles, bro? You want me to read it? Let me see. Have you been on Shade Room? Uh, it's been a minute because I Shade don't trust Room him does, as a, <laughs> Let me tell you. Source. Okay, I feel like Shade Room is one of the highest detriments to the black community. <laughs> Because, bro, they give you an inch of the story and run with it. And how often have you seen a headline and just kept that as like, you know, like you headline reading. That's so true. Like you a headline hero. Yeah, and Shea Room does it the worst because they do what they, they always headline stuff that they know black people going to get mad about. Yeah. They all, they target black people being mad. And it's like, if you told me that and I was mad about it, it's like, it's, it's confirmation bias. That's what they, they fish mm-hmm. for confirmation bias. It's so sad. Yeah. It's it's so sad, bro. I got to get that money up and the followers up. Mm. Anyway, it's well they um <laughs> well anyway, I mean they um they supported me. Amen. So, that's all that matters. Amen. Amen. They actually were not the first ones that posted me though. Blavity was. Um uh. and Daquan and BET and then Shade Room hopped on the bandwagon. Dang. So that tells me that Shade Room is a follower. Anyway, uh, <laughs> TSR politics. Well, that's error number one. Why are y'all in politics? Yeah. <laughs> Second of all, Kevin McCarthy removed as Speaker of the House in historic vote. Mm-hmm. Child, it may have taken Republican Kevin McCarthy a long time to secure a spot as Speaker of the House, but not much time for him to be oust from his seat. No Speaker of the House has ever successfully been removed after a vote until today. This act was taken after a 216-210 vote Eight Republicans removed. Oh my God! Eight Republicans voted to remove McCarthy from his position, including Matt Gates or Matt Gates, yeah. the controversial Republican who led the removal effort. Gates was a frequent critic of McCarthy's, as the two. Oh yeah, that could have been worded differently. As the two differed on policies, including the la- the latest temporary standing bill signed into law, mm-hmm. which was what. Question. Like they didn't even put what it was. They didn't even put what the bill was. They knew black people didn't care about that. They was like Republican out. Let's right. Go. Well, we you win. know what? And it's not even that they think that black people didn't care about that. They're like, we don't want to teach them to care about it. There you go. They have no interest because if black because like don't you know what I'm saying? Don't don't do black people like we would care. But it's it's like you're feeding us this. I'm on Instagram. I am here either to see people twerk. I am here to watch cooking videos. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm not here to find the latest political update. So if I'm gonna run into it, oh Shay Room, you know you got the drama. I like what they be talking about Cardi. Oh, you know what? Somebody a, a Republican. Well, let me see what they talk about with the Republican. Yeah. Oh, he got voted out. They like, well, you don't have to. Don't worry about why. <laughs> don't even don't even put a thought into it. Just know what happened. Just know what happened. Give me some. And they gave you that, and that's all that mattered. Oh my gosh! She just my mom always want to come and be a part. It's like my little mom. Sister. Don't start. Can I show you what I'm watching this Saturday? No. We could have talked about that. What? These teachers is broke. <laughs> come on, mom. Come on. Hurry up. Come on. Practicing the chin. You gonna show the camera? We don't got much space in here. They yeah, had that camera. The camera we're not facing towards. You gotta be a good chin. Why you gotta breath? Five, six, seven. Five, six, seven, eight. Hey, Jara. Say yeah. Say yeah. Yeah. Hey, Jara. Yeah. You hear me? <laughs> you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is terrible. Why did you turn up so strong? 
<laughs> hey, John. <laughs> Bro, bro, I'm scared me, bro. I'm picking it with y'all. I'm like, damn, can you relax? We want our money. We want our money. You dummy. This is not effective. The Clark County School District is the only industry where they think they're going to get paid more by insulting their boss. Fuck, <laughs> I'm like, hey. <laughs> You're bullying the CEO oh, to get a raise. Okay. Give, us your mo- give us our money, dummy. <laughs> well, that's a very poor point argument. I guess I should pay you guys more. Yeah. Hey, bro, let me tell you though, it is so messed up. <laughs> bro was like, "You get." Bro was like, "You gave me how much?" He was like, "Oh yeah, I think I'm more assistance and a uh, a three hundred thousand dollar raise." No, he, he got a seventy five thousand dollar raise. He got a raise more than the average teacher's salary <laughs> just from their budget. That's crazy. but anyway. So yeah, Kevin McCarthy. So who is Kevin McCarthy? So if I have the story correct. He so so after after Nancy Pelosi bust out of there, mm-hmm. he got voted in, uh, like okay. like last year, a couple months ago uh-huh. maybe, and uh, I think, I think what he is is a what they call a neocon, a neoconservative, okay. one of those new conservatives that's really not about that old conservative stuff. So these new conservative, I mean these 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 um, you know these true conservatives basically, I don't know, don't like him because he's like. He's on the same camp of like sending money to Ukraine and stuff like that. So I think, I think, I don't. Remember. Okay, so basically, he's like, I don't, I don't want to call it conservative then, because I, I, I feel like that's dumb to be like, oh, he's conservative. He's just different type. No, nah, he just, he's just more right leaning, but he's probably just a middle hand. He's a middle hugger. Oh, there you go. I don't know why we gotta like call it conservative if he's not. But he's a middle hugger. He's there. he's a middle hugger, but maybe leans more right uh-huh. on some stuff. Um. Well, no. So, but they got boy why, out there. But why the liberals wasn't trying to keep him? He's a Republican. So was it that he was like voting on the Republican side for the most part? Yeah. But, <clears throat> yeah. but then the Republicans were like, no, "Listen, if you right, but you're not side. You gonna vote on our side? Exactly. Yeah. Oh uh, dang, that's gonna be me, bro. I'm gonna yeah. be like, listen. Well, I think both of you guys have valid points. So, uh, you know, I'm gonna take this side this time. They're like, no, 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 no. You ain't taking my side. <laughs> you're a Republican. You're not coming over here, over there. I'm like, well, I'll go over here then. Da, 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 over here da, da, da. that. You said they're allowed to be gay? Uh, you better stitch your butt over there. Like, what? I'm like, yeah, I'm just trying to progress for the betterment of humanity. We just trying to be dope. We cool, baby. But, um, dang, that's interesting, bro. Darned if you do and darned if you don't. That's so true. Don't nobody won't, bro. You know why? It's because we, we like being divisive. We love it. I told you that. Remember, I told you. I would love to say that, like, man, one of these sides is right. Because we were talking about this. We was like, we should do it this way. And I remember we were talking about um, Arizona. And I was telling you, like, Arizona has a small homeless population. And your first instinct was to be like, well, who's the mayor? And who's Mayor of Phoenix then? And you were like, are they red or blue? I'm like, I don't think at the end of the day, I don't think one way is right. I think that the argument is what we need. I think that's the only reason we have the balance. Yeah. It's because there's both sides. Because if one, if one side won, bro... We would be in a whole different society. Yeah. If Republicans really, well, not Republicans, but if conservatives won, bro, we would be on the road to anarchy. If liberals won, won, we'd be on the road to communism. And it's full circle. Yeah. It's full circle. Everybody likes to think that theirs is the is a lesser of is the lesser of evil. Lesser of two evils. Lesser, everybody likes to think that their side is the better one. But at the end of the day, it's like. Let's just sit in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just argue every four years. Yeah, I like bro. it this way. <laughs> and I just think like if if you're not going if 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 you know that a uh, uh, decision is gonna be made and it's gonna be like neutral, mm-hmm. it's like how well whichever way it goes, we gonna be fine. Like I'm gonna be good. You gonna give money to a candidate? It's like no, I'm like I'm on him. It's like no, you gotta get angry to give money, bro. Mm-hmm. I ain't never been happy giving money to them cancer kids, bro. That's At all. true. Yeah, they that's yeah that's ethos, right? You gotta you gotta. Um, Go for the emotion. You gotta go for the emotion, bro. Yeah, no, that's no, that's 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 real though. You have hate to, cancer. You have to in, in, instill that emotion. Um, Stupid cancer. And make it a trend. That's that's so sad though, man. To think that that's what the world has become. So, have you, are you following? Are you following along on the Donald Trump thing? Yeah, loosely. What's going on with my boy? He not showing up to none of the debates because he's like, well, what do I need to show up to the debates? I'm up eighty nine percent over all of you. Dang. Well, I need to go to the and they like arguing. You know? I'm like, That's bro, crazy. They really like they just had the other the other Republican debate, and they're just like arguing. They're like, this is the line. This is the line right here. He was like, Donald Trump, huh? You're not coming. You're not coming to these debates because you think you're better than us. You're you're not coming to these debates. 
because you want to duck us. Your name is Donald Trump? This is what he said. I swear to God. He goes, your, your name's Donald Trump? No, 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 no. We should call you Donald Duck. I said, this f- oh! Bro thought he was spitting bars. Bro got no black people on this team, bro. So Obviously. my thing is, my thing I is, said, they, who, was a, who was on their publicity team? Because for you to think that's like, oh my God, we, we're, not, we're down. We got to go for the big dog. That's like me making a distract to Drake right now. <laughs> That's what that's like. You got bigger fish to fry. Build your audience. So, bro, it's literally true. You're going straight for the top? Bro. The former president? Bro is ambitious. You're like, listen, I have argued. Like, maybe Mike Pence. Maybe. Was that who it was? I can't assume. No, Mike. it was Chris Christie. It was Chris Christie. You don't, I don't know oh, yeah, that's the fat one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, bro, if you could go for it, you, if you're trying to target anybody, it should be... Mike the dude, Pence. you, you sitting should, next to Yeah, dude, like, like target Mike Mike Pence is on there, right? Yeah. So you could target Mike Pence because yeah. he's right connected with Donald Trump and then he's there. That's your best bet. Yeah. Going for Donald Trump himself. Going for the top. That's like dog. me literally going into the studio and writing a diss track for Lil Wade. First of all, well, you wouldn't even hear it. I gotta get my name out there. <laughs> I gotta get my name out there. I know what I gotta do. That's like you making a cheeseburger. That's like you making a cheeseburger and then put it like, it got a cheeseburger restaurant and then all your signage is like F McDonald's. <laughs> First of all, like, ain't nobody in here worried. <laughs> My McDonald's CEO was like, yo, we got yo, Happy Burger's going crazy over there. We got <laughs> we to gotta, we gotta get our game up. Why do I care about Chris Gracie, like, bro? bro. Don't nobody care about bro. Yeah. And that was funny. It's like Donald Trump's like posting memes of this. It's like, look at this fat. <laughs> it's like, bro. I like you you came up with a name for him. He thought you was all cute on national television. Bro gave him a, not even a Twitter post. Bro was not on X. Bro was not on X. He's on his own social media platform, yeah. making doing numbers, making funny memes that circulate around the internet. I'm That's like crazy. Bro. Okay, so I Drop so out. here's my here's my um, money, time. Go be with your family. Here's my problem. We'll with, find God. Here's my problem with Donald Duck. <laughs> Donald Dump was better. Who said that? No, I'm just that was. I mean, oh, you should have said Donald Dump. Donald Duck sucks. He was, he was ducking the debates. He was like this. He was like this in the curate. Hold on, wait. Is that why? Because he's ducking the debates. Yeah, that's what he said. You want to duck these debates? I, I'll pull All right, it up. Donald Duck. I'll pull it up right now. Nah, that makes it better. I'll put it. That's a little more West Side. No. But he not black, though. If he was black, bro, okay, be for real. You got to look how he said it. But if he was black and he was like, Donald Trump over here trying to <gasps> duck the debates. Donald, I know you're watching. You can't help yourself. Oh, he pointing. How is he, bro? He's Pause. He's so evil. You can't help I'm yourself. I'm looking at camera right now and tell you, Donald, I know you're watching. You can't help yourself. I know you're watching, okay? And you're not here tonight. Not because of polls and not because of your indictments. You're not here tonight because you're afraid of being on the stage and defending your record. You're ducking these things. And let me tell you what's going to happen. You keep doing that, no one up here is going to call you Donald Trump anymore. We're going to call you Donald Duck. All right. And I want to look at that camera. Right that now. one. Oh. That girl. Oh. Oh. That was, you know, oh. 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 <laughs> I love you, Christy. <laughs> Like, All right, I'm just uh, looking at the face he made afterward. We're gonna call you Donald Duck. Need more of these, bro. Like, bro. Hey, look, you're not hard, bro. Yeah, that I'll was take hard. a change, bro. Dang, you want to duck these debates? He really if he was black. I think it he been. thought he ate. If, bro, if Obama he, said it. If Obama said it. <laughs> if Obama said it, we would have been flipping. Be for real, bro. You want to duck these debates? All right, Donald Duck. But he we would have been like, yo, yo, yes, we can again, again. <laughs> Bro, be for real though. I need him to rap, bro. I need him to rap because it, I think it would have just been so fluid. He was like, "Yeah, no." He, he has like what twenty three year old Harvard graduate who's like, bro. you know, I saw this thing on TikTok with the uh, <laughs> niggers. You know, they were doing. <laughs> they said something about ducking. You oh. should put that into your. I'll write it for you. I got you. He was reading it. He was like, "Oh, this is gonna work. This is gonna work." Yeah. How about so? It was like, uh, should I get the black vote? You, <laughs> Donald, Donald Duck. No, 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Donald Duck. More like Kevin Hart. Dude, give it more. Give more Kevin Hart. That's what black people like right now. Oh, yeah. Donald Duck. <laughs> Nick. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, well, I would like in private. That's good. <laughs> in private, that's good. In private, that's once you get the card, but <laughs> you have to you have this with the call. Get invited to the cookout, and then you can do it. Yeah, like uh, so. It's like an actual cookout. Is a cookout, like, and what is a cookout? Like, are they cooking outside? Uh, well, it's you know. So you know how like we have barbecues? Yeah. It's like so. So what's there? What's it, what's there? like hamburgers, hot dogs? Uh, should I, what should I do? Should I bring um my mom's famous creepy casserole? <laughs> I think that. I think with that 
like that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they went like that. Bro, pull up to the- Bring that cheddar broccoli. <laughs> hey, we saw this is TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> that's cheddar broccoli. Not the cheddar broccoli rolls, bro. <laughs> no, they probably them things probably smack, bro. The white people pull oh, up in there with up. the cheddar broccoli rolls. Oh, people like, up, what this is? No, oh, shut oh, up, bro. They put the cheese on the broccoli. I think black people invented that, bro. Not that that would be cheese. I think chicken though. I think black people invented they cheese on broccoli. They know what we're talking about. Oh, cheese on broccoli. We had to have. Maybe like, I don't know because like, I think it's made with Velveeta. Like this. Ew, this is gross. I got you. <laughs> I'm gonna put, put cheese. some cheese on it. Put some cheese on it. Yeah, that's bro, be cheese is crazy. That sounds like black. Bro, I mean, all just things. imagine be like, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm trying to get healthy, man. You know, I heard my doctor told me that I need to eat more greens. I heard broccoli's real good. It's just so nasty. He's like, you know what? Bro, Go in there, give you. me a piece of that craft. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. Throw it in the back with 15 seconds. <laughs> mm. If that ain't black, bro, I don't know what it is. <laughs> just oh. imagine it's like, yo, ah. Uh, <laughs> they said I got to lay out the fried foods. I got to eat more veggies. I don't know how to make this appetizing. <laughs> so what you do is you go get some nacho cheese. <laughs> <laughs> the whole purpose of feeding. No, I think it works. You know, like in um, uh, what what show is that? Where he's like, oh, dude, you got your chocolate in my peanut butter. Dude, you got your peanut <laughs> butter in my chocolate. chocolate. <laughs> it's like some no, 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 no. That was um. This might be something different, but it was. I, I Hannah Montana. Oh, I remember. Oh, uh, the cheese bacon my yeah, cheese what? Yeah, what? Cheese chunker. <laughs> oh, dude, you got your cheese in my you jerky. jerky. You got your, your jerky, jerky in my cheese. cheese. Oh, oh, oh my snap. thing is, bro. If it was so nasty, then why do they sit there and try it? Boys are disgusting. He ate off the floor. And we're like, yeah. Well, let me see what it. Oh, 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 oh. Let me see what this is talking about. Let me see what this is talking about. He's like. Oh, this is gross. <laughs> oh, cheese oh, 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 jerky. Oh Give me more. Oh, Drop it on the floor oh, first. Oh, I like the way it tastes with dirt on it. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he motorboard in the ground? Cheese jerky. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Bro, okay, let me tell you though. My, my problem with Trump right now with these videos. <sighs> my problem with Trump, period. I hate this man serious. And I can't take his supporters serious. Because why... Yeah. So just like just because I want to preface my point, you know how like people like Republicans hate on liberals because they're like, you always want to be the victim. Mm-hmm. Like, you're not the victim. Oh my god! My problem is <laughs> Donald Trump, this multi billionaire, thinks that everybody in the world, everybody in the world is out to get him. Out yeah, to get him, bro. Every I'm, you yeah. ran, you won the election <laughs> this, the first time. This is true. I'm not gonna lie though. If I was a billionaire a presidency, and I feel like, and I'm like in my mind, I'm like, yo, they stole it from me. I'm scared, bro. Like they gonna they gonna assassinate me. They gonna try and take me out any way they want. Billionaire? Yes, bro. Yes, I'll be afraid too. I'll be afraid if like if like half like bro half the country, half the country. Like imagine half the country like not liking you. Everywhere you go, that's let me. You always, there is somebody that does not like you. Let me tell you about this privilege. That is majority of influencers, especially every single president. Word. Yes. Half the country hated Obama. Dang, they still exactly. don't think they still don't think that he won the presidency because he he still was he was never a president. Why? Because he wasn't born in America. <laughs> that was their basis. The only That's reason we're not true. talking about that anymore is because it's been so long. Yeah, but he's, if I was Obama too, that's why I couldn't be president, bro. Okay, so I'm saying that he doesn't deserve special privileges like he's acting. Is my point? He's I think he's, he's like the a, only one that's acting though. He's the only one that like that genuinely thinks it. Obama probably thought it, but he was like, "I'm not gonna say it." And you're like, they're gonna or, think I'm scared." Or he's like, "You know what? If I'm so scared, maybe I just won't run again." Obama? Oh no. yeah. Oh. <laughs> if he was so scared, why would he run twice? I guess so. Donald Trump is like, "I'm so scared. I'm going to go and do a news press release about it." No, he's like, yeah. He's like, they need me. <laughs> that's white people. They think that we need them. Bro sounded like Batman. <laughs> Bro thought he Batman. They need me. They need me. What's his what's his uh his waiter's name? They need me, Alfred. <laughs> I must go. I must go. I must, I must go save the country. I must go, Ivanka. That's literally what he Bro, I get so I get his emails. I get oh his emails, God. bro. Bro be emails. I still get his emails. You be emailing back? How all emails sound. They're out. I'll, bro, I'll read the I'll read the latest one. They're out to get me. I'm, thank you for being my supporter. Yeah. Bro is like, bro was convinced that half the country is against him. And that's true because you're you're a freaking president. Yes. <laughs> that's just how politics works. It's 50-50. Oh, this was the one, bro. Hold oh, no, on. Where is it at? Where is it at? Oh, I just lost it. He's checking his Gmail, guys. Yeah, give me a second. You keep talking. I'll talk it out. I was just watching this thing and he was like, see, because the judge, she didn't want to acknowledge um 
that we won. We won in the blah, 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 blah. She didn't want to acknowledge it. She's Bro, clearly. You need, a, you need a better Trump person. She's clearly out to get me. <laughs> like everyone is. Because she's a Trump hater. She's a Trump. She, that's what he said in the, in the press. I don't know if you saw it. He called her a Trump hater. He did call We're her. labeling people as Trump haters. She just doesn't like you, dude. He has so much privilege on his spirit. That's why I don't. And I'm telling you, the reason I don't like Donald Trump and his followers, the reason I can respect, even if I don't agree with you, I can respect George Bush. Mm -hmm. And I can respect um, um, both of them, W and WH or HW. Like, I can respect both of them because they weren't out here in the news pretending like they're way is so right that everybody should agree with them. Mm -hmm. And what they know is so correct that if you don't, you're a Trump hater. No, I just don't like you. He has so much privilege over his life that he believes everyone should like him. And if you don't, you're a Trump hater. You have a name. That's so true. You, a, you want to be a Trump hater? This dude a Trump hater. Imagine. Imagine you, because it's like, you got a YouTube channel, you got millions of subscribers. You got billions, because he's Donald Trump, billions of subscribers, okay? Billions. And I'm watching your YouTube channel. And I'm like, I don't really like it. You're like, all right. Thomas Hater. And then when when you got to come into my court, you come to Vegas and I got a space out here in Vegas, whatever. I'm like, nah, I don't really mess with Thomas. I don't want him at my event center. All right. See, that's what happens. They want to keep me down. That's a Thomas Hater. Mm. I don't, he can't, I can't be as a visit. Everybody else is, you have 50% of the city welcoming you. <laughs> and you're just focusing on, oh, we got a Thomas Hater over here. In Las Vegas. We got yeah. a Thomas Hater. But you have to do that in order to get people on your side and get more people on your side. Yeah, and it's it's psychologically immature. He's showing them that he's the counterculture. You seen that, right? You seen that? Yeah. He's showing he's the counterculture. It's immature. And it. he's old. I got you, bro. <clears throat> also, this is, uh, when we read it, he's reaching Biden's age. This is true. This is true. We love calling Biden old. We love calling Biden old. But that's because Biden act old, though. But that was about four years Donald Trump act old too. He do be acting old. Can we be don't. for real though? Because <laughs> I'm telling you, you calling people a, a Trump hater because she disagree with what you said in the court. You, she disagree with you. Like, do he not understand that even if he was a regular human being, that there's biases in everyone? It has nothing to do with that you're Trump or not. What, like, what if you went in there and she was a Trump supporter? Mm. You'd have complained then. She doesn't like the law. She literally went way too easy on me. Let's go in again. Would he do that? But he believes <laughs> that because she was like, oh, I ain't messing with you. Oh, she a lovely woman. She a Trump hater. She's a lovely woman. Be <laughs> I'm a grandma about her. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. But this is what the emails. And then I was. I, I he a clown, bro. That's video. old white people think that. They know everything. Everything is their way in their mm -hmm. own world. Bro. Donald Trump thinks everybody's out to get him, bro. Everybody. So the email goes. <laughs> The radical left in the deep state are transforming our country into the third world. Oh my God. A third world tin pot dictatorship, all in the name of getting Trump and canceling your vote. At a time like this, it's never been more important that our most trusted supporters join the ranks of our most exclusive membership program, the official Trump Gold Card membership. <laughs> oh my God. I said, Mr. President. Bro. I said, Mr. President. Bro. That's how you get them on your side. They're about to get me. Pay me. And then you know what? And they complain. They, pay they complain that the liberals do that. Same thing. Remember when I always told you, when you first started coming around me, I always told you, bro, they're the same thing they are. on two different sides. They are both the same thing. It's just which one got to you first? Yeah. Which one was your mom? Which one did your dad vote? Mm -hmm. That's, they want the same thing. They think that their way is right, and I don't trust either of them. Mm -hmm. Why do we have kids arguing about their side of politics? Like, I, every day, I, I tell kids, well, you guys didn't vote for anybody. You're seven. <laughs> seven. They're sitting there, fourth grade, arguing about which, which, which uh, uh, president was better. Mm -hmm. who, sh who you should have voted for? Who'd you vote for? If you voted for Trump, you're racist. Well, if you voted for Biden, then you don't know how to make decisions for yourself. I hear these conversations. You're repeating what your mom is saying. That's crazy. What does your mom know about politics? She didn't even graduate high school. Let me not go there. <laughs> she talking to a specific kid, bro. That's a specific kid. Well, you know, if we go based off of statistics, majority of people nowadays don't have a higher education. <laughs> so we have the old folks who should not be voting. That might be a hot take, but that's how I feel. No, I feel that. We have the old folks voting. We have people with no upper education. And then we have rich folk who just want to. And you know what I'm saying? It's like, I'm not like that, but you can't expect people who came from nothing. Like, bro, a billionaire who is self-made is the most dangerous man on the planet. Mm. 
a self-made billionaire is the most dangerous man on the planet because if you come from nothing and have billions, that means hundreds of thousands times a hundred. You can make a hundred thousand a day if you have that much money, more than that. Why would you not be selfish? And you came from nothing. You was riding on the bus growing up. Most dangerous people on the planet, bro. And you have them looking out for themselves. That's where we live in, bro. That's Billionaires it. looking out for themselves. And they know they can't do it by themselves. What they do, they, they find naive. They start to 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, all the way up to 18. And now you're die hard. You got this man's flag. Boy, you ain't even read your Bible. But you're talking about some more, I'm, I'm doing it as a Christian for Republicans because yeah. they have Christian values. When was the last time? Quote me two scriptures. That ain't John 3.16. Go ahead. No. And you can't do it, but you're doing it for Jesus, though. Your, your vote is for Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, that's tough. Would Jesus vote? That's tough. No, Jesus would not vote, I don't think. Well, I, I, got, I don't want to Jesus. <laughs> He's like, yo! Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, Trump hat? Yo, what are you talking about? He's like, about? yo, I like Christy. <laughs> That, that Donald Duck line was good. That was fine. That was, I would have said that. <laughs> if it was like literally 2,000 years ago, that would have been the Bible. Mm-hmm. Paul would have wrote that. Paul would have wrote that, bro. Donald Duck would have been in there. It makes me sad that these politicians don't really be pushing God for real. How you made that clip where it was like, I like, I just probably one of my favorite clips we made. It was just like, they conservative first before they Christian. Mm-hmm. And it's like, bro. I'm like, why does that have to be true? Yeah, it is. Why? Why can't we just have somebody go up there and just be like, yo, the Bible said this? And yeah. this is what we gonna go. Like, I just want to say that once, where he's just like, well, oh, I don't know yeah. what I don't know what what the Supreme Court said, but this is what Bible said. Well, I need, so I need Tony Evans to get on that stage. So do you know why though? Why like why it wouldn't work? Why? It's because they don't want to vote for Christ. Remember, it's the, it's the narrow path, mm-hmm. and then we like to think that they're Christians, but they don't want that. You be fooled. I'm telling you, you be fooled by people like Andrew Tate. I know he's not Christian, but even what you said, you was like, well, he loves God. <laughs> But he's not Christian, and then Donald Trump. Well, he loves God. He's not a Christian. I don't care what anybody says. His actions show. Mm. His his intentional actions show. That is not the actions of somebody who is filled by the Holy Spirit. Mm. Pretty point blank. It's not. Grab him by the coochie, but you, but you by the Holy Spirit, and then <clears throat> the Holy Spirit never convicted you to apologize to to like just you just double down on it and like justify what you meant. Mm. That sounds like the Holy. That sounds like your pastor. And that's what we want leading the cut. We put more pressure on these pastors talking about some oh, you know, pastor can't own no Mercedes. But if we vote for the president, we don't want we don't want somebody up there leading like Christ. We don't want that. That's crazy. That's not what we want. We want somebody who can get me mad in my emails. We want somebody who can come and say, You guys deserve more money. Five for fifteen. We wanna we wanna rally. We want a, a fierce leader. Mm-hmm. Martin Luther King would have never won for presidency. My Luther King would have never been president. Mm. I don't care how hard he tried. It would never happen. He wasn't, Rah! No. <laughs> he didn't even make you scream. <laughs> like that. Malcolm X, nobody would have voted for him because of the times. But maybe him, he got mm-hmm. you mad. He made you want to walk around with a gun. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> Literally. Like, he would have won. They, that's what they want. They want you to be like, ah! Yeah. Walking to the gun check. <laughs> yeah. All right, we good. Like, I'd shoot nobody. Donald Trump, like, nah, bro. He, I can't. I don't know, yeah, man. That makes me sad, bro. It makes me sad to think that he's gonna win again. You think he's gonna win again? I don't know. I don't know who else is running. Who else is running? That's so true. He's gonna win for the Republicans for sure. Oh, oh yeah, the nomination. Yeah, so, I don't know about but, the whole presidency. So, so who who else is running on the other side? Bernie until he mm. die. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought he already died. I Did heard. he die for real? I know. I ain't uh, died but I ain't heard from bro admit it. He I, go I heard from him, bro. I don't I'm know. Sorry. He too old. Listen, I ain't never gonna just align with a political party, but Bernie Sanders be spitting, bro. <laughs> Bernie be spitting. Bernie be spitting. Like, mm-hmm. I be hearing stuff, and I'm like, if you disagree, it's because you just gonna best off of what you didn't heard, mm-hmm. what you think. Like, some of the stuff that bro be saying, he be like, uh, I don't know, man. Mm-hmm. We gotta figure out this minimum wage situation. That's that's step one. Yeah. What are we doing about minimum wage? Come on, right now. This is our this is our uh we make a decision right now. This is <laughs> right now? This is what's gonna happen. All right. Um Should it be fifteen? Yeah. As long as just keep our prices the same. Just keep the prices the same. I don't know if that's realistic. Keep the prices the same. I just I'm mad that like why did prices go up? <laughs> <laughs> they bro, prices like think about it, bro. There's no dollar menu you no know, more. Mm-hmm. And McDonald's went up a little bit. They make like ten an hour now. I mean, like they, they went from eight to ten. That's the they had the same the the uh, 
an hourly wage price increase was the same price increase of a hot and spicy. A hot and spicy went from one dollar to like one seventy nine, <laughs> and then like they got like seventy nine cent raise too on the back end. Mm-hmm. Bro, that's insane. I hate it, bro. That's insane. They had all these price increases, but then I think I think there's just so there's just so many nuances, bro. That I think this, it, the best way for society is going to just be the half and half. Oh, I didn't want to say die. Oh yeah, or that. I mean that. I'm down with that, bro. Because I mean, bro, think about it. The only way that you can like keep the prices the same is by doing what? What? Putting a price cap. Oh yeah. So when you put a price cap, what you doing? That's communism. Mm. That's tough. It's communism, bro. Well, do you believe in um? <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. That was so inappropriate of me. I sincerely apologize. I'll never do it again. Yeah. Okay, after that time, I'm going to do it again now. Uh, do you believe in um unions? I don't know. I don't know why people don't believe in them. Because I'm going to say right now, if I didn't have a union, I would quit. Yeah. Boy, they be doing love so bad. They be treating y'all different, bro. These teachers, though. It's just the way he took a $75,000 raise. $75,000. <laughs> and the average salary is like sixty eight. <laughs> I was like, bro, you got oh yes, we finally got money for the school. But do you know how much he made though? What he made like three eighty. <laughs> he got seventy five on top of that. I think it was a bonus. I don't think it was a raise. Yeah, they they do y'all. They do he y'all was like, you giving us money for the school district? Yeah, for teachers. Well, I used to teach. We were to call it a longevity. You know where he came from though? Where? Orange County. And I heard I was doing the stuff. I heard he made a big difference. Dang. <laughs> Making teachers more poor or like. No, like he made a big difference. Like he was that's why they wanted him here. They wanted him here. Oh. Because he was fired as the deputy. Oh. He was the assistant superintendent. He was like, listen, get this boy over here. Vegas boy. Do that again. He was like Because oh. California, generally speaking, has pretty good school districts. So mm-hmm. you know what they're doing, bro. They, I don't know that he's gonna be able to if they can vote him out, they're probably gonna vote him out. They're gonna impeach him. <laughs> that's not the word, but <laughs> because so you know the white people they wanna split the school districts up. Word. They wouldn't have their own school district in Summerlin, oh, like more north and, and then also some parts of Henderson. Crazy. And you you know what that means? That means listen, all this budget is being divided. Keep it here. Keep the poor schools poor, and we'll vote for our own white Republican superintendent to yeah. run it how we want. Somebody whose pockets we can pad That's because Jar is not taking money from them. Some of the schools, he's taking money, but not from them schools. That's tough, bro. And he's you know he's Hispanic and. Kind of selfish, but he's advocating for a lot of the Hispanic stuff. That's not good. <sighs> yeah, so I don't know if they're gonna do it, but he's against <clears> it. <throat> and then people are really saying, and then people who even like, are like people over here who are redlined who don't understand how property taxes work and how's like why some of the schools and Henderson schools are better. Even those people, they're they're being influenced because this is one fact that that the other side is presenting is like Jar doesn't want us to split up so he can keep. Having that money because if he split up, he would have less constituents and less income. Mm. His salary be cut in half. So they're like, "Dang, he doesn't want this just because he want to make more money, not because he cares about us." You know what I'm saying? Just that's the fallacy. Fallacy. It's like just because you're wrong in this area, don't make you wrong. Wrong. Don't make you wrong in everywhere. Like he probably do want more money, but at the end of the day, splitting these schools up don't, don't help nobody but them people over there. Mm-hmm. We are gonna just get less budget. <laughs> we gonna get less budget to do what like less than what we already do. That's crazy. But yeah, all right. No more more boring stuff that makes you sad. Yeah. So like, um, speaking of being sad, Jim Butler is gay. Oh my god, he's not gay. He's just being funny. He just thinks he's Avril Lavigne. (laughs) (laughs) He paramore for him. He listens to what paramore song? Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler. Like, uh, tonight will be the night. I I will die for you. (laughs) Bro, looks like that meme that's going around. It's like me. That this is the black dude just sitting there with his hands in his pockets. You're talking about? Wait. It's going around. The green screen meme. And he's like, me waiting for whatever. Oh, you're talking about the white dude? No, the black. Okay, I don't, I'm know, I don't know the okay, black Okay, you dude. talk about Jimmy Butler while I'll find it. I don't know. People, man, people was on this man's head. He was like, I, people thought he was he lost a bet. I think that's what it was. I saw that. I Nobody saw those comments. Or he just wanted to be funny. So if you lost a bet, wouldn't you say it, though? I mean, what if, if the bet was like, you can't say it? That'd That's a, a dumb bet. bet. Who would agree to that bet? That would be a good bet, bro. Bro thought his team was really for the win. <laughs> bro had his. Bro was like, "Hey, man, I will say nothing. Yeah. I will do it. Oh my bubble, I will." Yeah. 
It did, but, but it, it, it looked like he wanted to do it because there was a video of him walking on the stage for the press, for the press, for the press, and he was like, "All right, don't make me break character." And he got on there. Yeah, and he was I like, saw that. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's do this. Yeah. So, <laughs> the don't make me break character. I love it. Didn't that make it seem like it was a bit? Yeah. So now tell me this. Let's just play devil's advocate. Could it be not a bit? It's not a bit. Let's. I mean, it's a, it's a bit. But let's talk as if it's not. Why did it just pop up? Did you just post it? That? Yeah. Because Blueface got sentenced. Oh, was that one of your topics? No, 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 no. That wasn't one of my topics. Wait, so why was that not a topic? Blueface got sentenced to what? He, so maybe that bro, Sir Capalot, not too. Wait, are people responding? Yeah. Oh, what the frick? <laughs> it went up already because oh, Blueface got sentenced. So I, wait, I knew it. I knew it. I knew that was gonna go up. I didn't know it was. Why you didn't initiate the conversation? Because it was like, eh. okay, all right, I was, I do. Explain. Okay, I clearly want to talk about this over Jimmy Butler. Okay, my bad. All right, listen, listen, listen. So Jimmy Butler like so, that meme. Insert that meme in there so they'll know. We'll okay. do the clip. But listen, Blueface. So all right, I, when was that? That was I think that was twenty. That was last year. I think yeah, it was last was, year, or at least the beginning of this yeah. year. Yeah. It was like last so last year, Blueface got was on a video shooting at somebody in front of uh, like a nightclub in Las Vegas. My cousin. He ended up he ended up grazing dude's hand, and he just had got sentenced yesterday. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, what was it? Twenty four months to like sixty twenty four months in in prison. Um, but I guess he he disputed it, and now he only gets twenty four months of home probation. But I think the funniest thing from that whole thing is that during the court, when the dude was testifying, like I shot in the head, he took a selfie with Blueface in the background. And while in court, while this is happening in court, he takes a selfie and walk away, and it just went viral. I think it's the funniest thing okay, in the world, bro. It. First of all, this would never happen to Nipsey. Blueface, no. he's not he's not top tier crip. Yeah. He's not top tier. Nipsey would have never went through this. RP my point, Nip. RP Nip. Nip would have never went through this. Nope. Rip Nip. Rip nip. <laughs> rip nip. But, no, but um, so what was I about to say? I was like, I said this. So let me tell you, bro. The Bible speaks about this. What? You have not because you have not. Bro, it was like 60 to 24 in the pen with people who are murderers. <laughs> Please. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, wait, wait, since you put it that way, uh, let's nine, just do 24 at the house. 24 at the crib. At the crib, you good with that? You know what I'm saying? Which crib? <laughs> Dang! So is this why baby was this why bro ain't been taking care of his baby? You trying to live it up because he thought he was going to prison. He thought he was going to prison. That's why. <laughs> bro thought bro he was, he was going away. Here. He was like, "Listen, I'm about to talk all the best I want. I don't got no time for no dang birth of a baby. I'm not even gonna be for him there, bro. Wasn't even there. I'm not even gonna be here for him, bro. Like, I was like, yo, and his mama gonna tell him I'm dead anyway. So why why I gotta worry hey, about man. get him diapers? Yeah, no. She be alright. She be fine. What if you remember me? Let me tell you what's wrong with these women, though. I'm going to take black women who are um, living in that ratchet ghetto lifestyle, just, you know, saying, like, Krishan, get a ring on it. Mm. Because if you would have just got a divorce with all of this, Oof. that's an alimony check. Mm. Is that alimony? I don't know if it's it, alimony, but. Maybe. Spouse support. Some. You're getting money. And then, on top of the spouse's support, every time that he come at you, all you got to do is provoke him in private. I'm giving the game right now. Oh provoke him in private. Oh, cut this out, bro. Let him get on you in public. I'm giving you the game right now. Let him game. dig himself a hole. This is not good for the I know. I should not, not be like, he's <laughs> so divisive. Bro, but that's the game if y'all want sexy to. Red, take a note. <laughs> bro, what's up with sexy red? Provoke him in private. What's up with sexy rap? She's not a good role model. I don't let not listen to her when she's my car. I was like, we can listen to whatever you want in your car, not in my car. Don't play that trash. So what's she saying? She she know what she's saying? Uh-uh. Uh, my coochie peak. My booty, booty hole, bro. That's her. Hey! Thug it with my rap. Looking for the hole. Ah! 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 Hey! That's her. Hey! Hey! This is my song. Like this. This, is my, this is my move. I'm like, hey. Dang. Bro, so what you listen to? Not that. Not that. I don't think I listen to ratchet stuff anymore. I believe that I I I don't like how mean we are to black music when like white music is worse, bro. White music is worse. Do you know what metal music is about? I don't listen to it. Like eating babies. Yeah, and we don't listen to that. That's like, why we don't listen to that. Because why are you screaming? Like black people don't, but white people do. They do. Keep that over there. Okay, so why are like country artists allowed to um? You just think magnetic. Yeah. Oh, that's dope. What the frick? Why are country artists allowed to sing about alcohol, but black people can't? 
You can see my alcohol. I'm going to buy you a drink. No, 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 just make the A's have like that. Bro made one letter have seven syllables. I, 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 I'm telling you, you can't tell me T-Pain out a legend. And JB Fox as well. What did he do? What? That was his song. Oh, where? Oh, God. Am I tripping? <laughs> yeah. I thought that was Trey Song. Did you not say Trey Song just now? Wait, I'm confused. Blame it? Is JB Fox and T-J- T-Pain? Word? Oh, my God. I thought it was Trey Song. It's JB Fox song, but that's T-Pain. Blame it on the... Uh, blame it on the... Yeah. Blame it on the... Uh, uh, how you feeling? What am I thinking of then? They be thinking, ooh, na na. No. <laughs> Trey Songz got that music, bro. I don't know why we wait, consider wait, Trey Songz a legend. Wait, no, no, no. They four Trey Song songs. Wait, what? They four Trey Song songs. Uh, you better relax. Trey Songz. I, 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 no, I can we be for real though? Trey Songz is not a legend. He's not. But he I, will wait, be. Wait, wait, he got some. He got some. He's not an OG. He's he nothing. Trey Songz is nothing. But he got some hits. If you want to get it in, no. Give me four. If if I I give you four. I give you four. I got Penny Dropper. I got Dive In. I got Jupiter Love. And dive In is him? Dive In? Yeah. Who am I about to dive in? in? That was my very first oh, Vine. Oh, oh, oh. That's my very first Vine I ever made. Word? Yep. Outside of Pizza Hut. Who am I about to dive in? The pool. <laughs> the pool. That was my very first Vine I ever made. That's my first oh, video what? I ever put on the internet. That's hilarious. I don't know where it is, but I died. Dang. I find it. Probably on the server somewhere. Is it really? But uh, no, what is that song with Nicki Minaj and Trey Song? Yeah, I can't think of the name. But yeah, Blame It is by Jamie Foxx featuring <laughs> T-Pain. I did not know that. <laughs> Dang, bro, T-Pain do not get enough respect. I mean, Jamie Foxx don't get enough respect, bro. I thought that was Trey Song. Go, girl. It's your birthday. Open wide. I know it's Thursday. Say ya. Uh, 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 uh. Wait, so, wait, play that. Play that uh, Jamie Foxx song. Because that's obviously a simple one. No. No? Say, uh... And that's fabulous. Dang, you see his V line? Yeah. Be there. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. Of. Uh, 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 that's not blame it. What's blame it then? Some real music. That's what that is. Blame it on the goose. Wow. Uh-oh. Put some respect on Jamie Foxx's name. Wow. Put some respect on his name. Put some respect on his name. Put some respect I on him. Some... That's crazy. Yeah. But anyway, what were we talking about, though? But All right, so we can move on to topics. But listen, so... Bro, what was our topic? Oh, Blueface. Blueface. But yeah, so that was crazy that it happened. Two-Face, baby! <laughs> hey, all I'm saying is don't trust nobody with the color in their name. Sexy red, blue bro's face. name is has a color in it. If if your name can belong in a Mad Lib, then I'm not gonna trust you. Oh my god, bro's name is adjective noun. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust you. you. Gotta relax. Adjective noun, bro. I'm saying, just think about it. Think of all the adjective nouns out there. Mm. Low pump. Okay. That's adjective noun. Do you trust low pump? Oh, I wouldn't trust. See, you don't trust low pump. I wouldn't trust low pump. Noun noun is rough too. Don't go for noun noun. Six nine. Wait, numbers are not nouns. Oh, really? What are numbers? I guess they're numbers. They wouldn't be <laughs> words. <laughs> <laughs> that has to be a noun. We stupid. <laughs> we either we stupid. Wait. Oh wait. well, I guess it would be a. I guess it would be an adjective. I gotta ask Chappie GPT. A number is an adjective. Well, 969, so your name can't be a number. If it's an adjective, how's your name a, na- a, a number? Bro, found a paradox. Hold on. I found, bro, I cracked the system. What part of speech are numbers? Hmm. Bro, just started pooping <laughs> on himself. <laughs> it's okay. Numbers are typically classified as part of speech known as numerals. Okay, but like. Wow, so a number. A number is a number. That's what I was like. I guess it wouldn't be. So like not a noun. Dang. So numeral, numeral, or anything. But I don't know, man. Cause E forty. Okay, no, no numeral. I guess. Yeah, nouns, numerals. I don't know, cause E forty. 
E40. I trust E40. I would trust E40. Buster Rhymes. I trust Buster Rhymes. Yeah. Who else? Twister. Mm. I trust Twister. Eminem. Okay. He is a little, you know. Yeah, I trust him. He's he not got, one of he us. Got, he got daughters. He's not one of us, though. He got daughters, though. But he's not one of us. But he be trying to be like one of us. You ain't see, you ain't see 8 Mile. <laughs> That's all he was around is with us. Yeah, bro. And that actor looked just like him, so. Bro, literally. <laughs> so good. What they cast him? Yeah, bro. I don't know, bro. Um, it matters. <laughs> who else? Who else? Charles Gambino? I'm not trusting Charles Gambino. Adjective, adjective. Mm. You can't trust adjective, adjective. So it's got to be just now, now. Now, now. Now, now, or now. Adele? I trust Adele. Yeah. I prefer HP. Yeah. <laughs> Michael Jackson? <laughs> That's now, now. I trust him with my kids. Yeah, I'm just with my kids. I'm just with myself, though. You know what I'm saying? I just with my kid was obese. Like, <laughs> if my kid was ugly, I wouldn't mind. He's like, where's the, where's the like, kids? Where's the kids? He's right here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, you guys only have 30 trials. <laughs> you can take them back. Okay. No, I thought you said he could play. No, 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 no. Fantasy Land is closed today. <laughs> yeah, I was, What did he call it? <laughs> Fantasy Land is closed today. What is, it, yeah, what is it called? I gotta uh, go feed Bobo. Magic Wonderland? No. Yeah, Wonderland is closed today. I gotta go feed Bobo the chimp. I gotta go see. I gotta go feed Bubbles. Um, I forgot what it's called. Anyway, bro. But let's, uh, Beyonce. Let's stop, I want you to take on this. All one. right, so yeah, you do that with it while you're just know that I'm thinking. <laughs> oh my god. For more ad, so I got you. Yeah, if you're, if adjective now, you're a no go, and I'm gonna prove that fact. This is my theory. So if you're watching this clip right now, then comment down a rapper or a celebrity with adjective noun in their name, and I guarantee you probably wouldn't trust them. Okay. All right. Shout out Blueface Baby. Blueface Baby. Oh my goodness. White people don't not. Don't not. <laughs> Sorry, because I was I was focused on myself, man. Please stop. Yo, Jeezy. Stop. Relax. Relax. But now he's just Jeezy. Maybe. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> White people don't know anything about us at all. They know zero about us. So a, a, a video went viral on TikTok, <laughs> and it was like poking fun at how white people communicate when they're on a hike. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> You're gonna love the view. <laughs> it's wet down there. <laughs> oh, is this your guys' first time? Yeah. Yeah, just like keep going down straight. The waterfall is gonna be on the left. You're gonna love it. <laughs> Watch your step. <laughs> this is so green. The color. It's worth it. <laughs> so it's I'm so glad we green. laughed at that. The color. Like, <laughs> like oh, no, the I numbers. Thought, I thought, <laughs> the numbers. I thought the numbers were green. Yeah, actually. bro. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate you. And then my thing, my thing is the... What is that? When he grabbed the arm, why would we... Listen. He just touched me. Why, like, my thing is like... All right, let me explain this first and we'll get into it. So somebody quotes me that and said, I always find it strange when black people impersonate white people as a joke. It usually involves men being polite and somewhat courteous to each other. Is that a joke? I don't get it. Also, everyone should hike more. Good for the soul. That last part was stupid. But it was just like, bro, what are we talking about? So first off, take a, a play out of your wait, we'll take a play out of your playbook. Uh-huh. If you didn't understand it, you didn't laugh at it, and it was supposed to be laughed at, and everybody else is laughing at it. Who is it for? Yeah. It Not for you. you. Keep scrolling. One, yeah, it just keeps scrolling. One flip. Simple as that. Why you it was, do? She literally said because we, I, it's just I feel like a broken record. White people, like, cause we said it on the YouTube. White people think everything is for them. They think that they are the main character in everybody else's book. She said, wow, this wasn't funny. To you! It wasn't funny to you! So that means they should have posted it. Everybody else was laughing. Everybody was laughing. Else. But because you didn't get it, now you shared it to your audience who's also going to not get it because they also were raised in Summerland and wore prep skirts, prep skirts to school. Oh. Like, now you're like trying to get validation for people who it wasn't for also. What are we talking? So, uh, but I so somebody responded to it and said, "The concept of civility is so alien to most minorities. It seems like satire." Mm. I said, "Word." I said, "Word." Well, I was like, "Let's back it up." Let's, even this is a troll. Let's back it up because there are people that believe this. Let's back it up. We were taught to talk to everybody in a room. We always in. speak. Yes. We were taught not to say nothing. Get out of grown book. We was we was that was all we were taught. Yeah. All we were taught. We would get whooped. Yeah. And we were polite. Spanked, punched, thrown, spacked. You better go speak. 
Sorry, I just had PTSD. <laughs> I was like, who are these people? Grandma, where you at? Hello, happy grandma. You better, you better speak. I don't know these people. Mm-hmm. But you, we were, we were bros. Like that's y'all. That's, but here's the thing, no. though. It's like, so why, why, why is it funny to us? So white people coming down, they're like, you're gonna love it. Did I ask? Did I? Because you know what? If you're gonna like do some black people, when they speak. We just. You know what I'm saying? It's just, bro. Oh, bro. That's it. What's up? What's it's up? It's a nod. If we walk it past morning. somebody. My bad, bro. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Or, you know, if we want to be real civil like, civility, show our civility, <laughs> and be uh, courteous and overly nice, we might be like, oh, girl, that backpack. And keep pushing. That's all you got to do. Girl, lo- bro, my girl get it all the time. They on that. Oh, my God, I love your nails. Oh, my God, I love your hair. That's it. They on there on some, uh, it's your first time. Damn, we're <laughs> you don't let me do what move, I'm doing. Move. We not friends, and they only saying it because it's awkward. Usually, it's when it's a group of black people. Now they want to like, I'm not racist. I'm nice. It's your first time. Well, so basically, you keep going. To, I was going to keep going down. Yeah, we were going to do that. I'm not dumb. You don't need to teach me what I already knew. That's like when we was in Africa, and it was all oh, tripping on this one <laughs> lady that came. She was the only non-black lady that was there. She was like, uh, "Marajo, that means hello," and she did that to us, boy. What our trip she was like, we know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, we so petty. We <laughs> so petty. But what did you gain from? I don't know what to call it, but explain it to us. When I all like, we was gonna go to a country not learn how to say hello. Is she white explain? <laughs> Who gonna go to like? It's like going to Japan and be like, Kurichiwa. They be so yeah, low. Hi in their language. Like, <laughs> bro, what? We gotta not learn hello. We know hello, how are you, and bye. That's it, at least. I don't. Anyway, but, but is it, oh my god, just the fact that they just like don't understand, and it's yeah. like okay, we're not even asking you understand, but just like when we clowning, don't. This is so weird. Yeah, I'm like bro, let it. it be between us, bro. And it's just like the stuff that sometimes I say, like um, when we just make a joke and be like, "Was oh, she white?" And she's like, "Oh, she was white." And we be like, and we laugh that out. It's just. It's, don't take it as like we're trying to be prejudiced. Like we're trying mm-hmm. to have a bias and like we hate white people now. It's like we just know that there's certain things that we wouldn't do and be like, mm, he white. Like Jeffrey Dahmer. You know black folks when they see that on the news. There was a man convicted for uh, kidnapping people and uh, eating their body parts. Ew. You know your grandma was sitting there watching that like, dang, you know he was white. <laughs> Them white people. <laughs> you know that's what she was thinking uh, when she was watching it. And people. when you put it on, they're like, dang, look at that white man. Baby, come here, look at that white man. That's just how we think, you know what I'm saying? And it's funny. You know why they don't like it, though? Because they want to be right, and they want it to be their way. I don't get it, bro. I don't get it. Because my thing is, like, <laughs> these people haven't been to, like, a comedy club. So, oh, this, this mm. is one. These people haven't been to comedy clubs. Like, people go on that stage, and they just be talking. They be funny. Everybody come together, we laughing. Like, I don't get it. But if you was in that comedy club, you would laugh, too. Because, like, you just, it's a better understanding when you're all together and you're laughing. So, yeah, that's true. This one dude had this joke. <laughs> This white dude, he was a white Jewish dude. He got on the stage, and his joke this was live. Yes, you saw live. Yeah, his joke was basically, um, I don't like going to casinos and gambling with white people. I like going to casinos and gambling with black people because black people got sands and stuff when they play. When a white person rolls a dice, yes. they just go, "Come on, twelve, give me twelve, give me twelve. But when black people go, they got sands and raps and rhymes. He was like, <laughs> "This is true, true, no, bro." What was it? It was like, uh, it was like, Cynthia, uh, <laughs> Cynthia. Uh, oh, come on. Uh, it was like a. Uh, uh, come on, Cynthia. Come on, Cynthia. Because if I get this money, I ain't missing you. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's real, like, though. And that's like, real, though. Every, like, bro, blew the top off that. Like, we were laughing for like 30 seconds, bro. It was so funny. Now, now, now if he was on Twitter, they'd be like, now, I don't understand why <laughs> other races always feel it funny to make fun of how we do. Now, we don't know how to gamble because I don't find uh, silly I don't find enjoyment in, in silly... In saying silly sayings. What, what is the thinking? word? What's the word I'm trying to think of for my joke? Hold on, miss my joke. Okay. Give me a second. You know I'm slow. I'm I got you. I got you. So now I'm not funny. Now my entire race is not funny because I don't find enjoyment in... in I thought... I can't think of the word. <laughs> I thought I had it. What is the word? It starts with an M. Sorry, I'm autistic. So now my entire race is not funny because I don't find tremens in saying silly metaphors in not even proper English. Oh, Ebonics. Anyway, 
everybody should gamble. It's healthy for the soul. <laughs> I'm like, bro, relax. It wasn't for yeah. you. It wasn't for them. But just, oh, I don't know. It just upsets me that they like. I think I'm pretty. Uh, I think I'm pretty okay with it. Only time I wasn't okay with it was like for the podcast mm-hmm. clips because I think our audience is so small that it was bothering me. I was like, true. Did this get into anybody who cares? Yeah. Like, if nobody, I can make any. I can make a negative comment about anything right now and there's people who gonna be like facts yeah i can talk about any group so the fact that i was like nobody really agreeing in these comments i'm like somebody something off yeah other than that bro bro you should see my comments like yeah if you go back on my comments for everything i ignore it though because i got such a good audience that like knows me it's a small audience but i know like i know i can hit people yeah you know these are my homies my seven friends we go which i went from gas station yeah (laughs) uh, bro the thing that was really making me upset bro i was having like Arguments in my head while I was driving, bro, in the shower and stuff. It mm-hmm. makes me so mad because it's like, okay, why are black people like this? Why are they doing this? What, mm-hmm. what is wrong with them? Why are they doing this? And then you look back on the history, it's like, okay, why? Same reason why we beat our kids. Why? Mm-hmm. Why, why do white people like not beat? Them? Well, no, we don't. I don't never beat my kids. No gentle, gentle parenting. Mm-hmm. Like, well, we beat our kids. Mm-hmm. Why is that? Mm-hmm. Because when we was getting beat as slaves, thousands and thousands, or well, not thousands, hundreds of years ago, <laughs> our culture is really just like a hobbled together, like taking things from different white people that we saw. And yeah. stuff. We're going to talk like this. Like, we say finna, we say this. That's because we heard it from them. Like, that was the reason why. And mm-hmm. we kind of, you know, and so now that we have like, and then, <clears throat> yeah, so we they wonder why why we act this certain way. It's like, mm-hmm. okay, you, you, <laughs> you enslaved these people for hundreds of years, right? And then you go, all right, maybe we shouldn't enslave these people. And you let them go into society. But you still don't treat them like humans, for real. Mm-hmm. You know, they look at a white woman, they whistle at a white woman the wrong way, they get mm-hmm. thrown in the river. Yeah. And you wonder why they're acting the way they, they're acting. Mm-hmm. And then I don't, I don't, and I don't even think it's a natural curiosity. I think that, or a genuine curiosity, I think that they just want to criticize because they feel like they have a better way. And that's what bothers me about it, is that they're not asking, why are black people like this? Like, Somebody teach me. They're saying, why they like this? Why they can't just be like us? Yes. Why why you can't you guys just be civil? What's wrong with being civil? Learn. And learn like, how to be and civil. They'll say stuff like, oh my God, that was so y'all gotta get over it. Maybe I need to culturally get over it. I gotta get over it. We lit bro, we literally can't. Like this yeah. is just us. Like we may yeah. not be like, you feel me? Like that's know. why we need that's, that's 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 why I, I don't know if I believe in like segregation, bro. I don't know if I believe in racial homogeneity. But I do believe that I just wish I was around black folk all the time, man. One I'm starting about, to believe in homage. One thing about my 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 people that I have my my class that I have now, there's, there's no black folk in it. I can't be saying that because you know they found my YouTube channel, bro. Yeah. They, whatever. Yeah, no black kids in my class, bro. This is not. I don't. It bothers me. I'm, I don't. I don't like it. It's like nobody understands, bro. That's like, I want to be, a, man. I want to be around us. The way that I sit here and I just, and I be trying to talk like professional in front of like. When I'm around older kids who are, I try to speak not in ebonics because I want them to know like you can be black and intelligent. But when I talk to the kids, like the little kids, I like gotta catch myself. I'm like, they understand ebonics. Don't be over here being bad now. Who you with? It, you with your class? What well, days over there, ain't they? Like, that's how I talk to them. Because they get that. Mm-hmm. Well, where is your class? Did they go over there? At what time did they leave? No, it's like, where your class at? When they get over there? Well, so where are you supposed to be? That's they, And they they get it together. Mm-hmm. I don't know, man. Yeah, that, that makes me sad. I think, like, I don't know. White people be like, we need to just come together. We need unity. But then you're like, you don't want to know nothing about these people. Yeah, they don't want you. They don't what. So what it is, and I don't care what nobody says, they don't want unity. They want us to like them again <laughs> they want us on their side they're like all right you don't have to be slaves just come regular but do you like us though like do be like us yeah, like no. this green bean casserole don't you dare judge yeah. it somebody commented they was talking about when i said that thing and they were like it's like he's never heard of other types of foods before and i said this is my idea you know i'm well traveled now guys i have a different mindset about stuff yeah. i said mm-hmm. america is the only place where we believe Everybody should know foods from every single culture and enjoy it. Hmm. I thought that that cream of broccoli, <laughs> it was cream of broccoli, <laughs> looked disgusting. I thought it looked disgusting, <laughs> highly unappetizing. And I'm supposed to just be like, wow, that's nice um, for them. It's, you know, I think you guys will enjoy it. No, I'm going to get my opinion and say it look nasty. <laughs> we don't only because gener- what, cause what happens if I go and I get, um, some fish and I keep the eyeballs in it, and because that's what they do in my country. I'm from 
Uganda. I don't know what they eat in Uganda. Mm-hmm. But let's say I'm from Uganda and I come out here and I'm like, oh, yeah, so what we do is we get fish. We cut the head off and then we drain it and we slurp the head, the raw fish head, and then we take the eyeballs out and we mush them up and then we put it on top of our hot dog. <laughs> You'd be like, that's disgusting. That's what that cream of broccoli looked like to me. That cream of broccoli looked exactly like smush of fish eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it looked that so nasty different. to me, but we supposed to be okay with it. Mm. I'm supposed to be okay with cream of broccoli, but you wouldn't be okay with if I was fish doing some fish eyes. Like in in Japan, they eat the they eat the fish head. Nope. That's common in Japan. No, 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 um, no. They eat live squid in a lot of Asian countries. They eat a lot of nasty stuff in Asian countries. I hate Asian food, but you know what I'm saying. We supposed to be okay with it, but be okay with it. I'd be accepting. Man, nah, nah, bro. I Heck, just, that. Nah, yeah, no. But they, we live in a whole country, and they do. And why I gotta no like white folks, bro? <laughs> why am I forced to like white people? Because you feel like you're a good person. You don't even know nothing about it. Don't get me excited about white folks. You know how I feel about them. And Jimmy Butler, one of them. <laughs> Jimmy Butler crossed over. Jimmy Butler has chose his side. <laughs> get off with Jimmy Butler. <laughs> Bro, it's because it's October, bro. Switch it over to November. You're going to be back to wearing this jam. No, 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 no. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a professional trade, uh, Jimmy Butler for Bill Nye, science guy. You really want Bill Nye? That's not even equal trade. He do pop, bro. He spoke pop. Uh, I don't want him, though. We need somebody that's more focused. I'll take... (laughs) For Jimmy Butler, let's get the girl from Paramore. (laughs) Hey, you know, you know, okay, if we're going to do singers, mm-hmm. instead of Jimmy Butler, this straight Jimmy, I bet that we're like, <laughs> Jimmy Butler watching us like, yo, it's a joke, it's just a week. <laughs> like, it's off, thanks, it's off now, it's on my head now. <laughs> okay, I would trade Jimmy Butler for uh, either Kesha. No, because listen, bro. No, listen. you want a heroin addicted white, bro? No. Listen, listen. Either, either for Kesha. Or Adele. Okay. We kinda, we Skinny already, we Adele, not fat Adele. We kind of already fat got Adele. Fat Adele because they were... Her husband's black. We kind of already got one. She married a black man? Dang. I would have imagined she's going to marry a black man who been the fat Adele. No. Oh, they been together? I think so. Oh, that's why. I can't imagine a black man marrying Skinny Adele. Not that I'm saying... I think she does look better, but... No, I think he did marry I just feel like... If I tried to picture a black man like an Adele, I'd be like... Look at her, all that meat on her bones. <laughs> Must make a good pot of red beans and rice. You know what I'm saying? I can't imagine Skinny yeah, and Dale. Skinny yeah. and Dale, like, what does she have to offer, bro? These yeah. people can't even cook. They don't even know what salt is, bro. Oh, I stop it. Then, be for real. <laughs> English folk cannot cook, bro. I don't know. I never had English food. They worse than them. They worse than Caucasians. Beans on toast. <laughs> but you, that's they. That's they joint. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you had that. Uh, you, you had that potato thing. <laughs> that locker, bro. Jews, bro. This is my ongoing feud with the Jews. Jews people cannot cook, that is, bro. Bro, why? Like, two things about Jews. I like. I don't. I don't believe in like gas you and like that, bro. <laughs> I ain't gonna gas you like you the homies for real. But them lockers and the fact that you don't believe Jesus was on the earth, bro. Those two Listen, things right there, boy. They was like, <laughs> what is up with you and them lockers, bro? Throw them they in the trash. Like, Jesus not even real for real. They was like, he ain't been here yet. And like, yo, he right there. They're like, nah, nah. <laughs> They look back, they were like, Jesus not even here. He right there. They're That's like, not Jesus. Like, they like, nah, nah, nah. They was like, he ain't even performed no miracles. They was like, yes, he is. That's Lazarus right there. They was like, yeah, that was a fluke. They was like, all right, well, look, he, he just uh, made the blind man see. They was like, you know, maybe he like a prophet or somebody, but, but he probably ain't yeah, Jesus, oh, though. Man. They was like, look, he just died and then rose again. He's, that's his flying you know, oh, He probably just an angel, <laughs> but he ain't Jesus, though. <laughs> You know, we waiting for another. We waiting for the. Where's room. another one? You know what I'm saying? You know what it is. I'm like, bro, why would he come? Why I would cracked he come the here? code. What? Because Jewish people are white. <laughs> they was like, Jesus, this dark motherfucker, <laughs> this darkie, you think he's Jesus? Oh, oh, come on, the dark skin. Come on, come on, guys. The bronze one. I thought he was gonna be like, you know what I'm saying? Like they were praying, they was like, God, like I'm not, you know, I, I ain't racist. <laughs> But I thought Jesus was gonna be Please, not, you know. I thought he, you know, like, you know, I don't gotta say it, but you know what I mean, though. Like bro. him, he can't even look at his hair. Jewish people, boy, got locks. I just, I just don't understand it, bro. Jewish people are different, bro. But um, them lo- but yeah, them, them lockers, throw them in the trash, bro. They probably need a little bit of salt. They do. They they needed everything, bro. If everything. You, I want to make something with some little garlic powder in there, bro. They probably fire. But you know what? I what about? 
Them damn damn. We not about to just do this, but so I must not. But we're here. Kosher. That's what it is. Season ain't kosher. That's what it is. Kosher salt. <laughs> You just make that up? <laughs> no, that's what it's called. It's kosher salt. It's, it's called kosher salt. So why ain't they putting that in there? Maybe that's maybe it's like maybe it's. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to make it you a giant, bro. Bro, you can't. Those are my brothers and sisters in Christ, bro. That's Drake. There's no excuse. Leave for the Drake Jews, alone. Bro. We love the Jews, but why are you cooking like that, bro? Love is like, a strong word, bro. They were like, oh, you're wrong. <laughs> Nobody said say that. Like, we need to be healthy, no salt. But let me deep fry this. <laughs> yeah. Ah, bro, what they is just going don't, on? They, well, white people feel like uh, salt is spicy, though. I don't believe that because they all. told me they don't eat Little Caesars because it's spicy. <laughs> all right, we're gonna have to cut this pod, bro, before we start being racist. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. I don't want to sit here and do this, but no. this is we're just talking about different races. Asian people need to stop pretending like they are on our side, bro. I know I keep saying <laughs> this, but I just be thinking about Asian food, bro. Asian people put. They get up. They be like, "Oh, I'm about to make the best meal known to man for my whole family." Oh, bet. Let's get it. What you got? What you got? They go, you got? They're like, "Okay, give me a pot." It's a, uh, they be like, "Give me that wok." I'll put a little bit of oil. I'm gonna fry an egg in there. Throw a piece of chicken in there. Flip that chicken over. Put the chicken in some water. Throw in some uh, bok choy, some celery, some uh, onion, and boil it. Rip it up and then put it on uh, a plate with some rice. Like, no season at all. <laughs> not a lick of season. I ain't none of that No, not a lick of season. Bro, you gave step. me egg. You gave me egg battered, pull apart chicken. <laughs> I don't know what this was. They are different. Yeah, and then they be like, you know, uh, as a person of color, not, well, you know, how much color is a requirement? So here, here, was, color. A, here was a comment that we got. They're like, they keep thinking they only um, identifying Asians that come from Japan and China. What about like was it Taiwan? What about blah blah blah? What That's good. Like, I'll accept. Ones? I'll accept the poor Asians. <laughs> it's the poor. So the the Indonesian ones, <laughs> I take them. I take them. I tried Jimmy Butler for an Indonesian. <laughs> I Jimmy would. Butler for Manny Pacquiao, bro. He Indonesian. I thought he was Mexican. No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was Mexican like Doris Flores. He's like a uh, <laughs> right. What is he? What is he? What is he? He's whatever. You know, like, oh, I think he's Philippine. Yeah, Philippine. Mm. Filipino. I love the Filipinos, but they too adaptive. What is that? They be like learning black culture too quickly. They do, bro. And it's sometimes, bro, when they get like braids in their hair <laughs> and some <laughs> stuff. They like I showed you that one girl. She be they be looking black. I don't like it. I be hating. Like why you just got over here last year and you dance better than me? <laughs> Go sit down. I prefer the Chinese Asians because they come in and it's like white folks. Mm-hmm. I like them. You know what I'm saying? They clap on the one and the three. The Filipinos come over. They be like, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Where'd your accent go? <laughs> Chianse, come on now. Relax. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> and then they get back to singing. And they be... <laughs> Did you say Chianse? I'm sorry. Was that the mix between Cheek and Beyonce? No, 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 no. Yes, it no, was. No, 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 no. He just mixed Cheek and Beyonce. No, it wasn't. I was just, I was, uh, I gotta, uh, I'll be talking. Bro, it's that Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you, so, uh, like, yeah. having a YouTube channel, did you, like, did you want Cherry it? Cherry Hilson? <laughs> All right, we're good. Okay. We're the deep end. We don't mean the deep end. We just start getting racist, bro. Yeah. All right, thank y'all for tuning into Burger Out Podcast. I'm gonna go ahead and read my Bible. Y'all should too. Y'all should shop at the Burger Drink. Like, is that a Blake Lively, real? Blake League League? 